Hello and what's up guys, it's Ben from the Untold Duelists and today we're unboxing the Cybers Link Structure Deck. Okay guys, let's get into the unboxing of the Cybers Link Structure Deck. On the front we've got Playmaker, Decode Talker, or not Decode Talker, Encode Talker, and uh, the new Cyber Small, well they're both new, but the really exciting new uh, Try Something or Other Wizard. On the back we've got the uh, Digitron and uh, Encode Talker and then the wizard, uh, kind of a preview of the playmat, but it says, Link to the world of Cybers. The Cybers brings dueling technologies into a new era. Take advantage of their high-speed network capabilities as they help summon each other onto the field so you can abuse their digital synergies. Once you have gotten the most out of their processing power, use them to help you compute the necessary data to Link Summon three new all-foil Link Monsters. And then we have our promotional thing for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open the sucker up. And that was wonderful. Okay. Just like that, get them out of the box. Almost forgot our beginner's guide. Throw that off to the side. We got our nice beginner's guide. Teach you how to play the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! We will probably go for having an in-depth um, kind of series on how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! eventually. For all you beginners out there. We got our playmat slash um, strategy guide, I believe is what they call it. And let's see, what is it? Does it say what it's called? Um, no. It, but anyways, um, we got some awesome strategies here that are actually halfway decent. Like. You don't have to always come up with your own. They give you some nice ones. Um, they've got uh, how to summon Encode Talker, how to summon um, Trigate Wizard and Binary Sorceress. So you can have that co-link for Trigate Wizard special effects that I'll show you later on. And then on the front, we have this really awesome mat. Like, we've got Trigate Wizard, we've got Encode Talker and Binary Sorcerer. And this is just really cool. It's it's very kind of modern. Uh, they've got the all the cybers looking um, like these kind of look like almost uh, like circuit boards, and it is real cool. And it says you know the cybers link structure deck, and of course you get a trading card game. Now let's go ahead and get into the uh, opening of this, and look at that. We've got our little promotional dual links card. Just like when, um, oh, what was it called? Um, there was some sort of online Yu-Gi-Oh thing that used to promote with a card that came in your structure decks. Or uh, starter decks or whatever whatever they were. And I can't remember what it was called, but it used to be kind of a big thing. I, I remember when I was younger and I, like seven, <laughs> and I was uh, playing it, but let's get into it. Uh, here's... Encode Talker, there's Trigate Wizard, Dual Assemworm, Cynet Backdoor, and Binary Sorceress. Those are your main uh, sh shiny ultra rare cards, which is actually quite nice. Like The artwork's nice, especially on this Dual Assemworm. That's real nice, and Cynet Backdoor. Uh, if you watch the anime, I think that's kind of a reference into the backdoor and to um, that big company whose name I forget. It's been a while since I've seen the anime. I need to catch up, but um, let's go over some of these cards. Here's Encode Talker, nice and shiny, rainbow effect going on there. And uh, once per turn, before damage calculation, if your monster card, if a monster this card points to battles an opponent's monster with a higher attack than it, you can make that monster unable to be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage from that battle. After the damage calculation, have this card or one monster it points to gain attack equal to the attack of the battled mo opponent's monster until the end of the turn. 
So that's actually pretty good where you can um, have your card gain the, or not gain the attack, um, have their attack equal the opponent's monster and then it can't be destroyed by battle. And um, next one, I'm going to go with, I'm going to leave Trigate Wizard for last since he's kind of special. So I'm going to go on to Duel a Simworm. And like, look at that artwork. Like, that is really cool. Now, um, if this card in your hand or graveyard is in your hand or graveyard, you can banish two other Cypress monsters from your hand and or face up from your field. Special summon this card, but its attack becomes halved. You can only use this effect of Duel a Simworm once per turn. Once per turn, you can banish one card from your hand, banish one monster on the field with attack less or equal to this card's. So you can, um, basically, you can, it's a nice way to just banish an opponent's monster that's giving you trouble. You kind of have to get rid of one of your own cards, but it's a nice way to just kind of banish one of your own. And I'm pretty sure DDR is in here, so you could get that monster back. Uh, next, we've got Cyanet Backdoor, which is nice. Um, very cybersy looking stuff there. Target one Cypress monster you control, banish it, and if you do, add one Cypress monster from your deck to your hand whose attack is lower than the monster's original attack. During your next standby phase, return that monster banished by this effect to the field, and it can attack directly that turn. You can only activate one sign at backdoor per turn. So basically, you can, let's say uh, you attack, your opponent activates Mirror Force, you banish your Cypress monster, so Mirror Force will fizzle unless you have nothing else on your field. You add one um, Cypress card from your deck to your uh, hand, and then your um, Cypress monster comes back, and it can attack your opponent directly. So that's pretty nice. Next, we have Binary Sorceress, and it just requires two monsters, except for tokens. And it's linked to, so it just needs two monsters. This card gains these effects based on the number of monsters co-linked to this card. Now this is where the first time kind of co-linked comes up into place, and um, co-link is basically when, okay, so we've got like Trigate Wizard and Binary Sorceress. See how she's pointing to him and he's pointing to her? That's co-linked. There has to be two link monsters pointing together. You can't have this here. This is not co-linked because this isn't a link monster pointing to it. So it can only be uh, like, like this. Uh, if we have here, here, and here, Encode Talker is linked to Binary Sorceress, uh, and this is not co-linked because the link pointers are not pointing together, but let's see, Trigate Wizard, that's co-linked, and that is co-linked. And then if you had another one, link monster that was pointed here, it would be co-linked here too, if the link po pointers were pointing to each other. Now let's go over her effects. If this, this card gains the effects based on the number of monsters co-linked to this card, so if it's got one co-linked monster, when a monster is co-linked to this card, battles your opponent's monster and inflicts battle damage to them, you can gain that much life points. So basically if, um, let's say, Trigate Wizard and Binary Sources are linked co-linked together, Trigate Wizard attacks your opponent and does 2200 damage, because they have no monsters on the field, let's say. Binary Sorceress effect would activate, and he could do 4,400 damage. And then her second effect, if there's two monsters co-linked to this, once per turn, quick effect, you can target two face-up monsters you control until the end of this turn, have the attack of one monster, and if you do, add the lost attack to the other monster. So, co-linked like this, and let's say you've got encode talk, let's say you've got a setup kind of like this here or something. Um, you can, let's say, Encode Talker is, um, oh, um, Fiendish Chained, right? You can have Encode Talker's attack, add it to Duel a Simworm, or Trigate Wizard, one of them, whichever one you like. I'm going to choose Duel a Simworm because it's got more attack, and then Duel a Simworm can attack. Okay, now to get on to Trigate Wizard. I've already explained co-linking, and he works off of co-linking as well. He requires two monsters except tokens, so he's a link three. So you need to get at least two monsters, um, and that's about it. At least two monsters, uh, or 
yeah, at least two monsters, so one can be a Link 2 and a normal monster, just a regular monster, and or three regular monsters is pretty much the only way to do this, unless you have, like, you could use, uh, no, you could not use Encode Talker. You could use, like, Encode Talker and another monster, and you'd meet the requirements. You'd have over the requirements, but, uh, anyways, that's that. Uh, if this is co-linked to one monster, uh, if a co-linked monster list card battles your opponent's monster, um, any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent is doubled. So, let's say they're co-linked, binary sources is attacks, she does uh, double the damage. Uh, if this card is co-linked to two cards, um, once per turn you can target one card on the field, banish it. So that's a good way to banish cards out. And if it's co-linked to three monsters, once per turn when a card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can negate the activation and if you do, banish the card. Um, a lot of people are thinking that Trigate Wizard might end up on the banned list because of all these effects and if you happen to meet all the requirements. So if you have this, this, and this, and had one more Link monster that was co-linked here, you would be able to negate effects, like an MST that negated as a quick effect, that you could use like once per turn, I believe. Yeah, once per turn. Um, you could just banish any card you wanted once per turn, and you could make cards do double damage. But that's about all I have for these shiny cards. Let's go ahead and get on to the rest of the deck. We get a Digitron, which is kind of like the opposite of Bitron. Uh, 1500 attack, zero defense. And then we got Dotscaper, which is like your Minecraft card. It's just a bunch of pixels, basically. Cubes. We have Client, or Client. I, quite, I don't quite know. C-L-I-A-N-T. Client. I'm going to call it Client. Uh, Backlinker. Balancer Lord. Rom Clouda, which is like the female version of Ram Clouder. Boot Staggered. Cyber Wizard, which is a really nice one to have. Backup Secretary, good, because you can summon her, special summon her when you have a Cyber Monster on your field. Stack Reviver, he's okay. Like, if his effect was once per turn instead of once per duel, it would be better. Um, Launcher Commander, then you get Summoner Monk, uh, Trigonia, uh, Card Trooper, Debris Dragon, that's a Yusei card, actually. Math Magician, Crane Crane, Magician of Faith, which is a really old card, uh, but good way to get a spell card back into your deck. Jester Confet, Glow Up Bowl, that's like a $1 card right there. Uh, Kinkabio, then you get a Soul Charge, Shuffle Reborn, there's your DDR. Gold Sarcophagus, Mind Control, which is an okay card. I mean, it's like a really crappy brain control. Um, Cosmic Cyclone, Moon Mirror Shield, Where Arf Thou, Recoded Alive, which is one for Decode Talker and Encode Talker, Target one Link 3 Cyburst Link Monster you control or is in your graveyard, banish it, and if you do Special Summon one Code Talker Monster from your extra deck. If you control no monsters in the extra monster zone, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one of your banished Code Talker Monsters and Special Summon it. So, this is actually a really good card uh, if you want to, let's say, Decode Talker is um, uh, uh, Fiendish Chained. You play this, and you banish him, get an Encode Talker out, that gets rid of your Fiendish Chain problem. And then, what you get to do is, if you ever run out of cards in your extra deck zone over here, you can then banish this card from your graveyard and get your Decode Talker back. Miracle's Wake, Powerful Rebirth, Premature Return, Swamp Mirror, I'm going to hold him out. Quantum Cat, I'm going to hold her out, maybe, her, him, I don't know. Storming Mirror Force, Dimensional Barrier, Ghosts from the Past, and then your promotional Duel Links card. Swamp Mirror and Quantum Cat, I have, you'll 
probably have seen this in the previous video, Vampire or Dragons vs. Vampires. I have the Quantum Cat Mat uh, from like the Duelist Battle Pack 3 or something. I think it's number 3. Um, but activate this card by declaring one monster type, one attribute. Special summon this card as a normal monster, level 4, attack 0, defense 2200, with that type and attribute. This card is also still a trap card. So basically, it's a kind of one of those trap cards that are also a monster card. And same with Swamp Mirror. Activate this card by declaring one monster type and one attribute. Special summon this card as a normal monster with level 4, attack 1800, defense 1000. With that type and attribute, this card is also still a trap card. There, I don't think, uh, I know Quantum Cat isn't new. But uh, I don't know about Swamp Mirror. I think Swamp Mirror might be a new card, but it's kind of interesting that they have these cards in here that are um, trap cards that are also monster cards that, you know, are kind of is somewhere in between the, uh, they're not pendulums and they're not, uh, they're just kind of like in between cards, I guess, is what I'd like to call them. But anyway, that just about wraps it all up. Um, I will have a link in the description to where you can get this. It is about, I believe MSRP is about 10 bucks and maybe 12, but I'll have a link in the description for this and um, I'll see you guys next time.